SAP Business One Release 9.0 has one centralized solution for managing and utilizing key implementation tools for Business One. We will show you how easy it is to manage and execute these implementation tasks. To access the Implementation Center, you simply navigate to the Administration menu, System Initialization, and here you will see a me new menu option called Implementation Center. The Implementation Center is broken down into four sections, Implementation Tasks, Implementation Project, Configuration Management and Path Settings. Let's start with Implementation Tasks. Here you have the option to utilise four key tools that we have consolidated into one central location to assist your implementation at Business One. First tool is to help you configure your company settings. This tool is known as the Express Configuration Wizard, which guides you through the process of configuring a company in Business One. This is your one-stop shop for configuring your company details, accounting and banking information, business partner and inventory master data, sales and purchasing and user setup. This avoids you having to navigate through each menu option in Business One. You can easily set up and manage your data in one central location. The next tool assists you with migrating data from a legacy system. This tool is well known as the Data Transfer Workbench or DTW. You can now directly access the DTW from within Business One to easily import any transactional data or master data by first selecting the company to import data and logging in. The third tool allows you to pre-configure a solution, such as an industry-specific solution or best practice. This tool is known as the Solution Packager. With this solution, you can very easily pre-configure a template or a customised solution based on an existing company database, which may include third-party add-ons, which can then be easily rolled out to many customers that share similar requirements. The Solution Packager utilises a wizard that easily allows you to step through the process to collect all of the data that you would like to package for your solution. Examples of data that you can package include external objects such as external tables, store procedures, custom scripts. You can package any user-defined objects or user-defined tables, alerts or queries, including dashboard queries, items, users, and also cockpits and dashboards, reports and layouts, and any add-ons. You can also package up an external database which may be part of a third-party solution. So then your package can then be used to create a new company in Business One. The last tool assists you with copying data between companies. This tool is known as Quick Copy and is a completely new developed solution in the core application. You may have a customer, for example, that requires multiple implementations across various subsidiaries that share common data. So you can easily copy data to a file and then import it into another database. To do this, I can simply select Copy to File. I then define where my file will be saved. I can then choose my copy options, for example, I can choose to continue the copy process even if a record fails to be copied across. Now I have the option to actually choose what I want to copy or export from my installation. For example, I could choose under Administration, Setup, General, all of the users within this particular company database. By selecting all of the users I would like to export and then selecting the export button, I'm now presented with data dependencies which highlights other data that I also need to export as a result of these dependencies. I can now see a log of all of my category details and I can also view the result details as well for each category that was extracted. So for example, for my users that I extracted, I can review the result details 
and see that the data was copied across successfully to my file. I can also copy these details to another company by selecting the copy from function and then picking up the file that I just exported. And then choosing the preferred copy method, such as the ability to add new records and update existing records. And of course, to find my copy options. Well, that concludes the implementation tasks section of all of the implementation tools that have been consolidated into one central location in Business One. The next section under the Implementation Center is the Implementation Project. The Implementation Project is a project management checklist or project plan based on the Accelerated Implementation Program methodology, also known as AIP. You can find all of the steps in the AIP. It gives you a detailed view of specific project tasks and the steps within a task. You can also define an owner for these tasks, the start and finish dates, the actual duration that the task took, and the planned time that you expected to execute the task. And of course, the status of the task. If we now go to the edit mode, You've got the ability, for example, to add additional information. You can add information assigned to a particular step. You can add any additional notes, or you can add any additional attachments related to a particular task or step. You can simply click on the info and type in the information or project step description, so it helps users to understand what they need to do to execute the step. Or you could simply add a particular note that requires a special detail assigned to this particular task, or of course any attachments. There are three project templates available which are also available in all languages supported by Business One. You can also create your own template based on custom implementation methodologies, for example, by incorporating special steps for add-on solutions. In order to do that, you click on the plus sign here, and this allows you to add a template, for example, for OEC computers. Now that we have our blank template, we've got the ability to add the steps required for each particular level. If I select level one, and again I select the plus sign, I can add a step called general settings. I then have the ability to add another step under that level and that step might be define user settings. I would actually like to drill down to the user settings in Business One and to do this I can right click on define user settings and say that I would like to add a link to this particular step. This takes me to a menu selection form. I can then drill down to, for example, administration, setup, general, and then users. And now within my step, I can simply drill down to the actual user setup screen in order to execute the task. With these particular arrows at the top, I can define whether this particular step is level two or level three or level five. There are actually five levels that have been defined. If you wanted to leverage, for example, one of the existing templates in the system, you've got the ability to do that by duplicating the detailed project plan, for example. If I duplicate this template for OEC computers, You then have the ability to add your own customised steps, for example, within these defined templates that already exist with the Implementation Project tool. The last main section of the Implementation Centre is the Configuration Management tool.
This tool allows you to save your current or existing configuration settings for your company installation. And you can also compare these settings if they have changed over the course of the implementation or over time. For example, if I save my current configuration settings, and now I go into the Implementation Tasks tool, and I want to reconfigure my company settings, for example, by changing my address details to 34 Field Street, Suite 18. I can now go back into the Configuration Management window, and under Saved Configurations, I've got the option to select the configuration that I've just saved, and I can compare it with my initial configuration. By selecting Compare with Current Configuration, you've got two options. You can run a report which displays the changes only, or you can run a complete detailed comparison across all of the configurations of your settings in Business One. A crystal report will now be generated and will display any differences between the initial configuration settings and my current configuration settings. This is a, a high level report. If I click on the second page of my report, I can actually see the changes that I made under the Company Details General tab. So I've changed my address details from 95 Borton Street to 34 Field Street. This is a very useful tool for any auditing purposes or to at least have a blueprint of your initial configuration settings for comparison as your implementation moves along. The last option in the Implementation Centre is the Path Settings. Here you can simply define path settings for your executable pages, your quick copy paths, or your project implementation paths for project templates and attachments, for example. Having one centralised solution for managing and utilising these key implementation tools for Business One makes the whole implementation process much easier to manage and to execute.